Hi, today I'm just going to show you how you might be able to use HDMI on some older Canon cameras which are known to not provide a clean HDMI output. This will possibly enable your old Canon EOS device to give you a clean HDMI output. Now, it may or may not be any better than the USB function that allows you to just connect your Canon camera directly to the Mac through Ecamm. So that's for you to test. But in order to dispel some myths and to give some people an option to enable them to try this out, then uh, this is going to give you that functionality. So firstly, what you'll need is a Canon camera that is compatible and we'll come to that in a little while. And you need to be a little bit brave because what we're going to be doing is running a different software on your camera and that software is called Magic Lantern. Magic Lantern essentially replaces the firmware on your Canon EOS camera. And it was primarily devised to give you more functionality in both photography and video. Um, most of the functionality that you can get within Magic Lantern is now seen on a lot of modern cameras. And one of the great benefits may be that you can get HDMI clean output from that old camera. So if you're interested and you're a little bit brave, carry on watching. So you need to get this software from the Magic Lantern website. So here it is. The address for the software is magiclantern.fm and there's a picture of a Canon camera which is a little bit reassuring but what's not reassuring is that it has a rear um, menu system that you've probably never seen before. But don't worry about that. I'm going to take you through the essential settings that will get you HDMI clean out from a qualifying camera. What you will need to do on the Magic Lantern website is go to the Downloads button and click on Nightly Builds. Now what you'll see is a range of cameras that are supported by the Magic Lantern software. Now these are all old cameras. If you've got a new camera you won't need this software and it's more likely that you'll probably have one of these cameras sitting in the background that you've never really used for a while and you might risk it. You know, I've been using Magic Lantern for about five years, so um, I have no qualms whatsoever running this software. But what you see is a range of different camera models and the numbers after them are usually where the firmware is required to be on the camera at a particular level before you try to run the Magic Lantern software. It is very important, apparently, that the firmware level on the camera is the firmware level that's specified here. In some cases you might even need to downgrade your, your firmware in order to try this functionality out. So this is your choice, it's up to you. I actually own a Canon 6D original old version so I'm going to click on the button and it gives you the download link here to download the zip file and it says make sure that you are running Canon firmware 116 and that's for my model that's different for every camera model essentially once you've downloaded it you can then expand the zip I've got an SD card here I would format that card in the camera first and then you copy the expanded files to that card on your computer so what I've done, I've actually just brought in the two folders that are required. So the top one, which I've marked as green, this is the expanded Magic Lantern files. You've got a folder which says ML and it has eight items in it. And you've got two other additional files, an auto execute bin and a ML setup firmware. The blue below represents my SD card which is an EOS digital SD card once you've formatted that you have always got your DCIM and your miscellaneous folder on those cards the DCIM is where you would find any pictures if you had any you essentially never format your card ever again because you need these files 
on that SD card for Magic Lantern to be able to run properly on your camera. So in the future, if you want to take off movies and um, images from the card, you can do that, of course, with your normal software, Lightroom, or whatever it may be where you import your files. But if you want to manually export the files or get them off, you'll need to go into this DCIM folder and the, where it says 100 Canon, that's always where your movie and picture files will reside in order to take them off and you will delete them from that folder into the future because you want to retain these Magic Lantern files on the card. So what I'll simply do is I'll highlight them and I'll simply drag them over onto the SD card. And they're now copied onto that card. So I'll close these two files down or the two folders and let you just have a quick look. Once you've formatted the card, you unzip the archive, you run the firmware update from your Canon menu, and that will then give you the full Magic Lantern functionality on your camera. I would like to add that please read through all of the technical documents on that Magic Lantern website. There are some disclaimers. If you feel you're brave and you want to do this, it's up to you to do, but please read the disclaimers on the Magic Lantern website about installing and running that software. In order to see this menu system, double hit the delete button on your camera and that launches this mode so you can see some additional features on your camera if you don't do that your camera will just work in its normal mode and you'll probably never really notice that there's anything different but this gives you an, an additional range of functionality so i'm now going to try and show you once you've loaded that onto your camera how you get a clean hdmi out now, the great thing about the Magic Lantern website is it's now got a fully featured demo which allows you to pseudo click the buttons. And I'm now going to show you where you need to go in order to ensure you get a clean HDMI. Firstly, when you want to launch the Magic Lantern software, you'll go to the delete button. As it says, that's how you open the Magic Lantern menu. If you click it once more, it turns on your normal fully recognized menu system that you'd have on your EOS. If you click it once more, it brings up the Magic Lantern menu from where we will go. Now, the important thing is that the first option that we see here, this global draw, which is under this menu, which has a histogram at the top, that's the one that does your magic for you and removes all of the overlays for your HDMI output. So what you would do to that is you see it says on all modes. Well, we want to turn that off. So you simply go to the set button on your camera. Now the buttons may be in different places on your camera. So click the set button and this brings up this off live view and quick review and on all modes. We want to turn what we call global draw off. So we simply rotate up to it you see it's highlighting now to say off and click the set button and the important thing is the global draw option at the moment that says off if i press the set button and i turn on live view and i press the set button then it brings all of these on so essentially global draw is a set of overlays that you can bring onto your screen in the camera if you want to have them. Now, basically, I don't want those at all. We want a clean output. So what we do here in this situation, we press the set button and click and select the off feature just here. So off turns all of those off. Essentially now, that's enough for you to get a clean HDMI output from your Canon camera with Magic Lantern software. A little further along, there is a live view setting just here. And I'm going to go and select that. And there's two things. We go to advanced settings. 
and it's the screen layout that I think might be important to a few people. 16 by 9 HDMI top and bottom means that you'll get a black line top and a black line on the bottom of the screen to mark out where your 16 by 9 area is. So I have that turned on. If I give you the other options there and I click it, you can see that there's a 3 by 2, a 16 by 10, um, and even a, a what they call a bottom under 16 by 9. But anyway, I've got top and bottom here selected, so that's useful to know. Once you've got that set there, leave the clear overlays off because if you turn clear overlays on, then that will clear that top and bottom marker. Anyway, to come out, you simply press the shutter button halfway. And I'm now I'm ready to hit the start stop button just here to record a movie. But you can see this white line here, top and bottom, that is going to mark out the area where a 16 by 9 video could be taken. Obviously, what you then need to do is connect your camera to a HDMI cable and that will give you a clean HDMI out with those settings. So it's Magic Lantern and the important one really is to go all the way over to Global, whoops, sorry, Global Draw and make sure Global Draw is off. So thanks for watching that. I hope that gives you confidence in trying to use the Magic Lantern software on your old Canon camera. It just might bring an old camera to new life and give you some ideas about how you might be able to use it.